Welcome back to Easier Than It Looks, where I cut the yapping and just get right into it. In this one, I'm covering 2D lighting, which is super easy. I thought it would be much more difficult when I first started. And to get going, all you need to do is go to a scene that you want to add the light to. Right now, I got my simple player scene, and I got a rotation point already set up just so I could easily show you where the light's going. I got it just following the mouse. Uh, what you want to do, you go to where you want to add the light, and then you just type in light on the search thing, and you got two different nodes. Ignore the light occluder right now. The point light is the thing that everyone's going to really be using most of the time. It's just a light at a point on the map, and it can move whatever you want. Use that for like, uh, for example, muzzle flashes or torches or something. Directional light is from a distance mostly. So you could use that for like the sun or the moon uh, if you don't actually want to show it in game for whatever reason. Right now I'm going to start with a point light. What you do, you just need to find yourself a texture, something like this. I got this right off the Godot website. And you could just throw that right onto the light. And then it already, you could already tell it's lighting up the player here. And you can make it bigger or smaller. There's many different ways you can do this. I'll show you in a minute how you can do it without any sort of texture. But for now, we're just going to work with that. Get out of here. Now, after we save this all and we reload the main scene, you'll tell that the player is already lit up here. And it's already making a little bit of light around all the random objects. I could show that easier if I just went into this. See, the light follows the player around. But it's honestly just adding light onto things that are already lit up. And we don't exactly want that. So, what you can do, you just need to go onto the scene that you want to make the light actually work on. And just do a canvas. It can't. I can't type. Canvas modulate. And then you can use this to make everything on this one screen brighter or darker. In this case, we want it to be darker, just so the lighting actually works better. And then you could actually see, now the light's actually working. I guess you can't see it when there's nothing behind it. But you can see the light's actually working now, and that is good, that is what we want. Next up, we have the directional light 2D. Now it looks like this entire whole scene is properly lit up. And the canvas modulate just isn't there. But if you could tell, after I turn off the canvas modulate, everything gets brighter. So the directional light just lights up the entire scene from a direction, in this case, from right here. So, the way you would want to make it so it doesn't light up the entire scene, maybe for some more dramatic lighting, you can make occluders, which I'm just going to add one to this rectangle right here. Just go here. And an occluder is basically just a fancy word for something that stops the light and casts shadows. So add it and then make it into a occluder polygon and then just make the polygon however you wish. I'll just make it into this rectangle for now. This now can block light. It's already darker. So save it, put it into the main scene and then you could see it's blocking the light. Uh, from whatever's underneath it and that could be used for like roofs or awnings and maybe an outdoor setting just whatever kind of dramatic lighting you would need I guess all right next up here I said I would teach you how to make your own lights really simple and I'm gonna do that right now so again make your point light go over here and instead of choosing like a PNG texture or a web P in this case go down and make a gradient 2d now you could already tell this is certainly one of the textures of all time it's not the best what I like to do I always like to make it rather big because you can change that later on if you need to that might be a bit too big for what we're doing here. fill go to radial so it's a circle and then change it to the center and then go on to the actual gradient part and flip around the white and the black so it makes a bigger light area I guess I'm actually going to decrease the size of this just a little 
then why are you doing that? There we go. And then you have a light. Let there be light. Let's do 256 by 256. And it's easy as that. And then you can switch out the black for maybe if you want uh, nothing in the alpha just so maybe it doesn't mix with something and then if you really want you can change the energy make it brighter or darker if you really want to do that I don't know why and then this all just makes uh, makes it so you don't need to find your own textures on the internet which is sometimes a pain yeah there we go ignore the big black background those for testing and I told you I had an example and I have it right here so right now I have what is a prototype of a game that I'm working on with a team I can't really talk about it. but here I did the lighting uh, by myself and just shows you what you can really do with it this is all made literally just with light occluders gradients and a little bit of code to make the enemies disappear when they're not in the light but that's just about it for a simple overview of the 2d lighting systems I'm sure if you go out there and mess with it or do a little bit more research and watching one YouTube video, I'm sure you could find more that you can do with them than what I've taught you. Alright, I'm out of here. Have a good one.